Hey guys, and uh, thank you uh, for watching Nix Bros TV. This is another session of Nix Couch Report. Um, today we are coming to you uh, a day, uh, exactly a day after the uh, tread deadline. And um, to be honest with you, I wasn't going to uh, make a video about the trade deadline and a trade that is going to be made. Uh, but a couple of things were said. Um, and a couple of things that I read, uh, it kind of strike a chord, and uh, you know what, I I had to do this. You know, I, I kind of got tired of hearing and, and reading about it. So as all we all know, um, Goran Dragic went to Miami Heat uh, in one of the biggest trades, uh, you know, during the trade deadline. Also, uh, Reggie Jackson uh, ended up with... Uh, Detroit Pistons. Every station I turn to ESPN, ESPN New York, um, you know, um, the analysts, uh, the, the uh, on ESPN New York uh, website, all I'm, I was reading that, oh, uh, New York struck out, you know, New York came out as a loser, blah, 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 blah. Well, I, to be honest with you, as a fan, as a diehard fan, I, I there's one thing I don't understand. If we trade, and we trade our assets and our first round picks and all that, and, and get a good player, the media and some of the fans complain, why did we give up all our assets and our, uh, you know, uh, draft picks to get such and such player? But then. When Miami Heat does it, give up Norse Cole, Sean Williams, Jordan Hamilton, um, two first round uh, first round draft picks, you know um, they come they come out as geniuses. I just don't see you know see when 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 we gave up Wilson Chandler, you know uh, Raymond Felton. Gallinari, Mozgov, one first round pick and two second round draft picks for Carmelo Anthony, we got ripped. You know, and that's Carmelo Anthony comparing to Goran Dragic. Of course, you know, a better player. And we still got ripped that we give up all our assets and all our, you know, uh, draft picks for Carmelo Anthony. But now ESPN comes out or, or the, some of the analysts, uh, the, the beat writers or whatever, they come out and they say, oh, we, we lost on Goran Dragic. So what? So you're asking us to give up again our assets? Tim Hardaway Jr., Clarenton, uh, Clay, um, um, Clay Anthony Early, sorry, Clay Anthony Early, uh, first round draft pick, second round draft pick for Goran Dragic? You know, I love the Dragon, and everybody that watched my videos knows that I was a big fan of him, and, and I was hoping that he would sign with us in free agency, which still there's a slim chance. I mean, there's no guarantee that he will sign a long contract with Miami Heat, but still, I was a big fan, and, and that, that dream kind of faded away, but at the end of the day, I'm happy that we didn't give up our assets and our draft picks for him. Once in many years, we have somebody in this organization that has a plan. For many, for many years, all New York New York Knicks did give up assets, draft picks, and sign players to you know, nonsense contracts. But finally, we got somebody that has a plan. Somebody that doesn't want to give up money where it's not, you know, deserved, where it's not to be given up. He's not giving away our draft picks if he doesn't have to. He doesn't give him, he's not giving out our assets if he doesn't have to. Yes, Goran Dragic is a good player. He would have been a difference maker. But 
not for the price, not for two two first round uh, first round draft picks, and and our assets. I I don't think that 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 would have been smart. We still have a very good chance in in, in free agency to sign somebody like um, Rajon Rondo. You know, or 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 you know, trade for some other point guard. We have about 27 to 30 million dollar cap space to sign other players to mix and match them with our draft picks and our assets that we have. Think about this many years has been gone, and we got all kind of high priced players, and we haven't gotten anywhere. Look at a team like Golden State Warriors, look at a team like you know, uh, Trailblazers, uh, you know, uh, all, look at, look at um, Milwaukee Bucks. What did they do? They piled up on draft picks. They got a good draft after a good draft after a good draft. What do they have now? Young team that everybody loves to watch. And can compete for many years to come. Something we needed to learn years ago, but finally we have somebody that understands and can do that for us. Somebody that will not accept giving up draft picks one after another and assets to acquire high priced players that might. Or might not get us to a championship. So stop being negative. Stop being writing all these crazy articles that oh we lost, we are doomed. New York Knicks didn't do anything at the trade deadline. Actually, New York Knicks did a, in my opinion, a good move. They sent. Prigioni to Rockets, and he got they got two second round draft picks out of that. I'm happy with that. I mean, I I would have liked to see uh, you know Calderon to be traded and get rid of his seven and a half million dollar contract for next season, but you know Prigioni that saves us a little bit of money, brings us two draft picks, two second round draft picks. And expiring contract of Alexi Shevet. So, in my opinion, as a fan that's been waiting for a long time to see a championship in New York, I see a direction and I see a plan, and I'm happy with that. And I'm happy that somebody's sticking to the plan and not panicking just for the sake of making a move, for the sake of making people happy, for the sake of making the uh, writers and, and the reporters happy so they, they they say oh he's the savior he made a great trade no he's keeping on to the assets he has a long-term plan he has a plan for 2015 2016 and maybe even beyond that's what the smart man does and that's what Phil Jackson is I'm not saying he he's gonna be the god and he's gonna he's gonna take us to a championship and we're gonna say yeah you know, trophy. But I'm happy to see that we have that direction and we have that plan and we are sticking to it. So please, you know, look at everything. Look at, you know, what's happening. Look what Miami gave up to get a player that might or might not sign a long term contract with you. And even if he does sign a contract, might or might not work out. And then you stuck with a $100 million plus contract in your organization. We did that to Stat. As much as I love Stat and I have lots of respect because he put New York back on the map, we give him a $100 million contract. Out of that $100 million, we saw two very good years 
what happened to the rest dead money injuries and we didn't go anywhere because we were we were tied with no cap space again guys tread that line went by the only thing New York Knicks did was to trade Prigioni for two draft uh, two second round draft picks and a uh, expiring contract be happy about it be happy that you still have Tim Hardaway Jr. even though he hasn't shown that uh, you know next step that he needs to take but you still have an asset you still have your draft picks you still have Clay Anthony early you still have Galloway you still have some young good players that could become even better and you can maybe later on use them in a better scenario trade next year the point is you add it yes you subtracted one player but you brought in two draft picks so if I were you I would be happy and look at the brighter picture look at the bigger plan and let's be patient this season is not going to go anywhere 10 and 43 at this point let's just hope you know we lose and we get one of the top five uh, you know uh, lottery picks so with that said this is gonna be this is it for today I really don't want to go into anything else um, so thank you for watching um, you know we uh, we love having our subscribers to comment you know this is this is a subject that that we really enjoy and uh, we would love to see your comments we'll definitely respond um, thank you for um, uh, being uh, being loyal subscribers we welcome anybody all the new subscribers we, we would be honored to have you on board uh, so definitely subscribe definitely refer us to your friends family members and all that um, hit the like button as you as you watch our videos um, you know and if you don't like it let us know let us know why you don't like it and maybe we can make even more improvements um, definitely check us on our Facebook page um, uh, you know we have we have our Twitter as well if you want to get in touch with us um, we also have created a new website uh, for Nick's Bros TV uh, if you just hit that uh, globe uh, logo on, on a corner of the YouTube page it will take you straight to our website uh, check that out um, you can leave comments there for us as well um, you know so uh, with that said guys you have a wonderful day and, and let's look at the brighter brighter future brighter picture bigger plans thank you for watching